Here's 12 high powered tactics for working with multiple projects in Final Cut Pro. I'll reveal a cool trick for quickly moving from one project to another. I'll also share the only workflow I'll use for organizing my projects. And at the end, I'll teach you how to share multiple projects in just two clicks. Let's get it on. So Final Cut Pro organizes using libraries. And then inside of libraries, you can have events. I like to use one event per video. And then inside of the event, you'll have multiple projects. And those can be different versions of your video. To see all of your projects at once in a library, go to the Smart Collections folder and open it up and then click on the Smart Collection Projects. This will list all of your projects in that library. Go to the library browser. If you don't see it, click on this button up here in the corner and that will open up the browser for you. Then you can select your projects. You can select multiple projects by holding down shift and it will select everything in between. Or you can select a project, hold down command and click to select other projects. To duplicate those projects, go to edit, then select duplicate projects or right click and select duplicate projects or even faster, press command D to duplicate projects and you'll see it's created copies of each of those projects and added a number to the end of it to differentiate it from the original one. Now this copies it exactly. You can't change any settings, but in a little bit I'll show you how to duplicate and change the settings. If you want to make snapshots of multiple projects, just select the projects you want to make snapshots of and go to Edit, Snapshot Projects, or right click and select snapshot projects or even faster, press the keyboard shortcut shift command D. That will make snapshots of each of the projects and add the date and time that it was made. A snapshot is like a standalone version of your project. And if you have any compound clips in it, when you make changes to that compound clip, it won't affect the snapshot. Check this out. Here's the original project. And you see, I have a compound clip in here. I made a snapshot of it and it has the compound clip in here. If I open the compound clip, let's change this text. You'll see that the compound clip hasn't been changed. It says snap instead of snow. If I open the original one and change this, and then I go back to my snapshot project, it still says snow and it hasn't been changed. To duplicate a project and change its settings, you can't duplicate and change multiple project settings at the same time. If I select those and right click on it, you'll see duplicate project as it's grayed out. So I have to do this one at a time. I can right click on it and select duplicate project as, or I can go to edit and select duplicate project as. There's no keyboard shortcut, so I find this the fastest way. I can give my duplicate project a name now I can change settings like resolution and frame rate. And when I'm done, just press OK. All right, if I want to copy my projects, I can just select them. I'll hold down Command and I'll select these guys. And then I can go up to File and select Copy Projects to Library. And I can select one of my other open libraries or create a new library. Let's select Stupid Raisins. And this window is asking me what I want to copy over. Do I want to include the media, like the videos and pictures? Or do I just want the project without the media? If I do include the media, do I want original media, optimized proxy? Do I want to copy media that's stored in an external location, like in another folder or on another hard drive? And then press OK. You'll see that Final Cut created a new event in the library and it copied my projects, and it also copied over the media that's used in those projects. I can also move multiple projects at once. Select the projects, click File, and go to Move Projects to Library. Again, I can pick a library that's open or create a new library. We'll pick this Stupid Raisins one. Now it asks if I want to include optimized media or proxy media. We'll leave those unchecked and press OK. And again, it creates a new event and it moves the projects over there, including the media. To open a project, you simply double click on it and then you can navigate between projects here in the timeline. Click on this arrow to go back in timeline history and it will quickly jump 
to the previous project you had open. Or I can click on the right arrow to move forward in timeline history and go to the project I had open before. You can also do it with keyboard shortcut. It's command and then left and right bracket. So I'll press command left bracket to go back in timeline history or the right bracket to go forward. This is really quick and easy to change projects. So I gotta know, am I being helpful? Are you liking this video? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so other people will see it? In just a minute, I'm gonna show you how to share multiple projects at once. But first, I wanna check out these project timeline options. In the middle of your timeline, we have the name of the project and then this arrow next to it. If I click down on that, I have a few options here. I can duplicate my project like we did before, and I can reveal my project in the browser. This is really handy if I'm maybe in my titles browser and I need to go back to the project instead of going back to the browser, finding it, clicking it to open it, I can just simply click on this button here and select reveal project in browser or press the shortcut option shift F. And it will take me to the browser, it will highlight my project and now I can make changes to it like project settings. I can also quickly access the project properties by clicking here or pressing command J and that will open up the info inspector for the project. I can close my project by clicking on this and I can close all the other projects or all the other timelines by selecting this one. Now I can't go back in timeline history or forward because the only one that is open is this one. I would need to go back to my project browser and open it by double clicking here. If you select multiple projects and try to change their properties, you'll be disappointed that you can't change them all at once. If I click on modify here, you'll see that I'm only changing the settings for the current project that I have open in the timeline, not any of these that I have selected there. So to change project settings, you have to do it one project at a time. You can select multiple projects and then consolidate or bring all of their media together. Select them, go up to file, and then select consolidate project media. This will take all the media that you have in your project, whether it's on another hard drive or in another folder, and it'll bring it together into one place. So I'll select the library as where I want it to come all together. And then I just want original media. I don't want optimized or proxy. And then I'll press OK. Final Cut will do its thing and bring it all together. You can also delete generated files from multiple projects at once. Select your projects, go to File, select Delete Generated Clip Files, and then select on optimized and proxy media. This is a great way to make your library size smaller and it will delete some of these files. All right, to delete a project, just select the ones you want to delete. I'm gonna hold down command and select these and then press command delete and they're gone. Don't worry, if you lose a project, I'm gonna show you how to get that back at the end. Now to share multiple projects, just select the projects you want to share and then go to file share three projects, select your destination, or you can right click on it and select share projects, select your destination, or you can go over here to the share button in the upper right corner, click on that, select your destination, or I'll use a keyboard shortcut, I'll press command E and it brings up the export window. You'll see over here it lists the projects that we're going to share and the settings here are all lines because they have different parameters. If you want to change the settings of the projects, you have to do them one at a time before you export. The only settings you can change here are things like format and codec. You can't change the resolution or the frame rate. You have to do that before you export. Then click on next, pick a spot to save them and click share. Now deleting or losing a project can be so frustrating, but I put together some tips and steps on how to recover a lost Final Cut Pro project and I put them in this video. Click here to check it out. Get your project back.